my studio. I'm Janice Bandler and I'm here to do another fun, fabulous drop-in art project with you. Thanks again to Perry County Council of the Arts for continuing to sponsor our drop-in art program online. Today we are going to make a Halloween inspired witch's cauldron. So if you would like to learn how to make this fun project, stay tuned. Here come the supplies. For today's project, you will need a piece of black construction paper, any color paper for your background, plain white copy paper, a selection of glitter, a selection of acrylic or tempera paints, a glue stick, a pen or a pencil, a pair of scissors, and optionally, some extra rhinestones for additional sparkle. So to get started, we need to make our cauldron shape. So we are going to take our black paper and you want to draw a large oval on it. So think of what a really big witch's cauldron or pot would look like and use your whole paper to draw a really big oval and then leave little feet at the bottom for the pot to sit on, okay? And then also you could draw one side that's your favorite and fold your paper in half and then it will come out as two halves, just like when you do like a Valentine heart. So you kind of want your oval to be flat at the bottom because the pot would be flat at the bottom. Cut out your little pot feet and then go ahead and cut out your oval and then I'm going to make a little rim at the top of my oval that would look like the rim on a pot and I'm going to use the top page top of the page as the top of my cauldron so there you can see I think you can see pretty well my cauldron shape now we're going to cut out the interior of the cauldron so you can see the witch's brew, okay? So that's what's next. I'm gonna fold mine back in half and then I'm going to leave about an inch and a half or two inches around the outside so that you can tell it's inside the pot and cut out that interior section. And that's where all of our fun little sparkly bits are gonna go. So now we need to make our interior of our cauldron. So we are going to use our white paper and do a few splats of paint and then layer it up with glitter. So let's get started on that. And you don't need any special technique to do this, okay? So we're just gonna have a lot of fun. Make sure that you put down newspaper if you're wanting to get really messy. I'm just gonna put a couple of dots of, I had a gray, I have an aqua, and I have a purple, but you can choose whatever colors are your favorite or maybe go with your Halloween decorations if you and your family are big into decorating for Halloween. It's totally up to you. Just put a few drops down and then what smears it all together is by folding our page in half and then kind of rubbing around on it and working your page back and forth. Not too much, we don't wanna overwork it. We don't wanna just blend all the paint together but we are trying to make a fun witch's brew, a bubbling brew. And I'm gonna fold up this way a little bit too. And then what really adds all of the, I'm gonna check. Oh, I need to go a little bit further to the edge. I'm just gonna fold over and make sure that I get paint that will cover all of the interior. Uh-oh, now I'm starting to get messy. My goodness. Okay, now I've got it all covered in there. Smear that off. And what makes it really fun is to sprinkle a little bit of glitter on. Ooh, that's where the magic is. Okay, so go ahead and add your fun colors. I have, who knows what's in this special recipe, right? I have a blue glitter and a white glitter and a green. That's just what I had, but you can use whatever you have 
doesn't have to be my colors. It can be your favorite colors or whatever you have access to. Okay, so there is our beautiful brew. And now what we need to do is stick our cauldron on top of it. And you can see how it looks like a fun bubbly brew in there, right? Okay, so let's put a whole bunch of glue all around our cauldron shape to glue it down. This could be something really, really fun to add to your Halloween decorations. I'm wondering if you and your family like to decorate for the holidays because we're getting into all those fun decorating seasons. I know we're gonna be spending a lot of time at home this year probably. And so we can make our spaces extra fun by adding lots of handmade decorations. So it's fun twice. It's fun making it and then it's fun using it to decorate. Okay, so now we're gonna place this on top of our smear and smooth it down. Be careful not to touch the inside. It's probably still wet. Okay, and then you can let it dry and cut away the white that's on the outside of the cauldron. But I'm kind of impatient, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right now. But you probably wanna let it dry so you don't smear all over yourself. So just cut that outside away. So we don't need that anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off from behind. You could start even with a colored paper, I think, on the interior if you prefer that too. And then you don't have to worry if you have a little bit of space showing that has no color on it. But I think it's fun either way. Whatever you have access to. Okay. And then we are going to stick it down. The whole thing we're going to stick onto our background paper, okay? So go ahead and stick it down, or we could stick it down like that and have it overlap. I like that. So you could do it either way. You can do it so that it's completely on the paper, or I'm going to turn mine this way and maybe I'll add some additional little bubbles coming out the top so it looks like it bubbles out the top. So this would be a good time to let it dry. Make sure that it's dry before you start this step so you can flip the whole thing over and glue it down. But again, I'm impatient, so I am going to kind of mark my top here and my bottom here. And then I'm just gonna put a ton of glue in between those lines. Oh, here we go. Okay, that ought to work for us. So I'm put my cauldron back on my paper. Let's smooth it down. I won't be able to smooth through the inside since mine's still wet, but you would be able to smooth the whole thing down. Okay, and there we have it. And you can stop here, of course, or you can continue to do a little bit more. And since my fingers are already messy, I'm gonna go for it. So I'm gonna make a few little bits of my brew coming out the top of the pot. Oh no, it's really getting crazy now. Finger painting is really fun, so, you know, go for it. Just make sure you ask before you get too messy, okay? And have a rag or something standing by so you don't get painty prints all over your adult's house. They might not appreciate it. Oh my gosh, I gotta lot that out. <laughs> okay, so now, once you have it all filled in there up at the top, too. Oh, forgive me, I need to pause and go wash my hands. And add a little bit more sprinkle of glitter up here at the top, and also add a few gemstones. Now the gemstones are totally optional. If you don't have them, that's fine. You don't have to do that. Uh, if you have sequins, you could add sequins. 
Um, you could add, if you had some little Halloween stickers, you could put some stickers on it and make a really fun sticker collage, or you could just stop here. It's whatever you want your project to be and whatever you have access to and time to make, okay? So that's kind of the fun thing about art in general, right? It's, you know, you just, you do your, your style and what you want to make. So there's really no wrong way. Okay, so now I'm going to get some school glue so that I can add some rhinestones. So I have a little bit of glue here, and I'm just going to pick a few that are in the same colors as the glitter that I used and add a few bigger bubbles to my brew. Maybe if I can get the glue out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, how about one more up here at the top? This is the really potent part of the brew. I don't know what my witch is making, but it looks like some serious stuff. A great spell, I guess. Maybe one more, because I can't stop. I love the sparkles. There you go. And you could continue on if you want to, but I think I'm gonna stop right here. So thank you for joining me today, friends. Have fun and happy Halloween. Bye.